The village of Konglo in Lao PDR's Kamun province is a well-known eco-tourism destination. It is renowned for the cave of the same name, through which the Nam Hinbun River winds for 7.5 kilometers. Before tourists can embark on their journey into the dark, they are first ferried across a small pool at the mouth of the cave. Regarded as sacred and an important spawning ground for fish, the pool has remained untouched by local fishers for generations. With support from the Critical Ecosystem Partnership Fund, Fishbio, a fisheries and environmental consulting company, and WWF are working to help the communities in this area assess the effectiveness of fish conservation zones. These efforts are supporting Fishbio in developing a guidebook on FCZ effectiveness. What's really nice about the um, work in Kong Law on the community fisheries is it's a model where we can see an actual benefit coming to the people. Once the group have established the fish conservation zone, the fish stock increases within one or two years. They start to see tangible benefits and that encourages them to continue with the conservation efforts. While most of Konglo Village's 1,340 residents rely on agriculture and tourism to generate income, many household members also fish part-time downstream of the FCZ in the Nam Hinbun River. The fish is not sold, but kept by the family or given to friends and neighbors. The highlight for the community in in this village is the, the conservation can be part of the ecotourism for the community and also uh, see the increasing of uh, fish species and their abundance uh, in the conservation zone. The result of the results of the results is that we can be able to help the people who are in the country and the other countries and the other countries who are in the country and the other countries อ่าจากแต่ละปีฮะเนาะเพิ่มขึ้นเป็นประมาณ 30% แล้วก็เป็นที่ว่าตัวหลักๆก็คือว่าหนึ่งเฮาก็มีทรัพยากรอาหารเนาะที่มันขยายลงไปนี่ก็พอแก้ไขสาวบ้านนี่เนาะใน